Hi good day to all of you my fellow healthcare workers. I'm Free Ya your infection prevention and control nurse. Now it's time to learn. Let's talk about hospital acquired infections. And we have four different types. First is the central line associated bloodstream infection, or CLAPSI. Second is the catheter associated urinary tract infection or CAUTI. Third is the surgical site infection or SSI. And lastly, the ventilator associated pneumonia or VAP. First, let's talk about CLAPSI, or the central line associated bloodstream infection. Central line associated infection is a serious infection that occurs when germs such as bacteria or viruses enters the bloodstream through the central line of our patients. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention or the CDC, CLAPSI result in thousands of deaths each year and cause billion of dollars in the additional costs to the United States of America health care system and even across other nations. Yet these infections are considered preventable. The next healthcare associated infection is no other than CAUTI or the catheter associated urinary tract infection. This infection involves any part of the urinary system which includes the urethra, bladder, ureters, and kidneys. UTI are the most common type of healthcare associated infection reported to the National Healthcare Safety Network or the NHSN. Among UTIs acquired in the hospital, 75% are associated with urinary catheter. The most important risk factor for developing catheter-associated urinary tract infection is its prolonged use on the device. CAUTI is also defined as a urinary tract infection that occurs in the patient who had an inwelling urinary catheter in place within 48 hours before the onset of infection. Remember. There is no minimum period of time that the catheter must be in place in order for the UTI to be considered as catheter associated. Got that? Next in line is the surgical site infection or what we commonly call SSI. The CDC defines SSI as infection that occurs after surgery in any part of the body where surgery takes place. Surgical site infections can sometimes be superficial infections that only involve the skin. Others are more serious. And this can also involve tissue, skin, organs, and implanted materials. SSI can be classified as infection from the day 1 up to day 30 post-surgery. And finally for the last healthcare associated infection. We have ventilator associated pneumonia or simply VAP. CDC defines VAP as a lung infection that develops in a person who is on a ventilator. In addition, this infection may occur if germs enter through the tube and get into patient's lungs. Ventilator-associated pneumonia, or VAP, is pneumonia that develops 48 hours or longer after mechanical ventilation by means of endotracheal tube or tracheostomy tube. Easy, right? In summary, all hospital-associated infection can be acquired after 48 hours of patient's hospitalization. CLAPSI, CAUTI, SSI, and VAP are preventable. Adherence to infection prevention and control practices must be ensured. Thank you very much for watching. Reach us. Stay safe everyone. Bye.